Stick around to the second half of the video if you enjoy watching a Toro's Greens Master in action. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Figured I'd make a little different video showing how to adjust the height of cut on a Toro's Green Master. I know there's several videos out there on YouTube showing how to do this, but I figured I'd make my own version. And if you guys are interested or on the fence of getting a Toro Green Master, um, this video might interest you as far as uh, the maintenance and the things you need to do with it. So, first of all, let me start and show you guys. In order to measure a height of cut, there's no gauges that are included in the lower. You will have to get an accu gauge, something like this. Essentially, it's going to go onto the uh, front roller, and this will go onto the rear drum. So th that's the uh, that's where it's measuring the height of cut. Um, it's based on the adjustments on how high and how low the front roller is and then you line it up basically on plane with the rear drum and you basically use this this hooks onto the uh, bed knife so essentially right there and then this will tell you exactly what the height is so if you take a look um, the smaller number is basically one tenth of an inch and then the, the bigger numbers here on the outside of the uh, gauge is basically the one one hundredth of an inch. So for example, if I want to show you guys half inch, we basically got to take it to the five here and then have it say zero here. So as I am hooking this up onto the bed knife, you want it to say right there. So that's an example, right? So it says 0.5 on the on the smaller gauge and zero. So that's basically saying 0.5 zero zero inches. That's basically how it works. So let me go ahead and demonstrate to you guys uh, how this gets adjusted. Uh, first thing to let you know is that you need a 9 16th wrench in order to this allows it to go up and down. This is allowing you to loosen it. Once you've come to your height of cut, you essentially just use this to tighten it up. And then you do the same thing on the other side uh, of the front roller. So first thing is, let's tilt the rope mower back. This is basically how it works. So let me show you how that looks right there. You get a general idea of what it's supposed to be like. So there you got it. You got the rear part on the, on the rear drum this on the front roller and I'm approximately at 0.4 inches not quite at zero but it's pretty close so last time when I did my scalp I had it at point I was going for point, point zero inches so that basically is where it's at right there and then if I were to put this on the other side uh, to make sure that everything is balanced out on both ends it should say the same thing so that's basically how it works um, in order to uh, raise up the height of cut, you first got to loosen this, and then this adjusts up and down. Same thing on the other side. So you got to do it on both ends, and then you got to take your gauge and see where you're at. And then once you get to the point of where you want to be, uh, you start tightening this up, and then you, you make small adjustments here in order to fine tune it to exactly where you want on your gauge. Okay, first let's loosen this up. So I've got a half inch and a 9 16th. You need a 9 16th. So left, righty, tidy, lefty, loosey. So we're going to go this way to loosen it. You'll need to make that loose just enough to move this. It should start moving. Yeah, this should start being moved up and down. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay. A little loose there. Check if this can move up and down. Yep, we're good. Okay. So first off, I still have the gauge uh, on the bed knife. We're still it's approximately at 0.4. Let's go ahead and start moving this piece up and down. So I'm going to go ahead and start moving this. Uh, I think tightening it will make the height of cut lower because you're basically bringing it in. So we want to make it taller, so we're going to go out. So we're going to loosen it. So I'm going to go left to loosen. And as I'm doing this, you can see the gauge actually move 
watch uh see if I can zoom in and show you guys. So I'm turning it left. You see how the gauge is moving? So we're heading in the direction we're heading in the right direction. So I'm gonna try to get this to point six. That's the height of cut I want to take it at, right? So I'm moving it. I'm basically doing it with my fingers. You, you need to be doing this with a wrench to make it much easier, but I just wanted to show you guys how, how it works. So zoom out here. Let me go ahead and move this to the left and turn it. So I want to get that small needle at the six, big needle at the at the zero. Turning, turning, turning. Almost there. And the thing with these gauges, there's more accurate ones out there now. Um, this is a little bit of an older school one. So it's always good to actually take it off and put it back on to double check and make sure that it's still exactly where you want it to be. So, so far that looks good to me. So now we need to go on the other side and check the height of cut because obviously we need to move, uh, adjust it over there. Okay, so here we are still close to 0.4. So we want to get it to 0.6 and go and start loosening this up. Okay, right there. That's basically 0.6. So let me take the loosen the gauge and start this over again. Adjust that up to the bed knife. Let me move the the reel a little bit. Okay. So now down that looks good on this side. I'm gonna go ahead and start tightening this piece of the side up right here. And one thing to note, I forgot to mention is uh, there is a little slack right here when you're going from left to right so that's going to play a role because i think it has to do with basically this washer that's uh, underneath um, there's some slack and some play and which allows you to kind of fine tune it so given that i'm at the 0.6 and i was going in the left direction and in order for me to keep it accurate i got to tighten this up and do and not go this way because if i go this way that's throwing it off so knowing that i went left so what, what's the best thing to do now is I actually should go this way to tighten it, get it back to where it needs to be. So let's get it back to the 0 0.6 here. Okay, let's not move anything right now. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and tighten this up here. Okay, that's pretty tight. Now, I can move this left and right, but I want to get it to 0.6. So I'm going to start tightening it back because I'm past 0.6 already. So it's pretty tight right now. So let me go ahead and take the gauge off and put it back on. So you see we're a little bit less than 0.6, which is fine. And go over on the other side and do the same thing. Let me double check and make sure. Okay, so I need to go to the right on here to bring it back to 0.6 because we're past 0.6 already. I'm going to go ahead and tighten this up. I'm going to start going this direction. As I do this, the, the needle actually doesn't move anymore because I'm going against resistance on the, uh, the bolt. So basically, i got to reset the gauge each and every time to make sure that I'm still at where I want to be. Okay, yeah, it's starting to move. Now we're getting back to point. We're about 
0.03 of an inch from getting there. Point zero two. Oops. Like this. Uh, yeah. So we're pretty close. We're 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 a little bit before the zero on both sides. So that works for me. Uh, the most important thing is uh, that they're both the numbers end up the same on both ends. All right, ready to rock and roll. Gonna give it a mo today. And put this back. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is this kind of shuts off the gas. Not necessary, but I do it. Uh, I saw somebody on YouTube do it. So basically, when you're tilting your mower up to the uh, on the ground like this, supposedly this is preventing the gas from flooding the engine. So you know, sticking it there to on so that the gas can flow back into the engine. And then give this a start. Having mowed since uh, scalp time, so trying to choke on. Usually takes two two pulls. Let's see. One pull. Turn the choke back on. Turn up the throttle. And there you have it, guys. Ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and roll.
All right, everyone, there you have it. I've adjusted the height of cut to 6 tenths of an inch and then intend to maintain it until the summer arrives. Hope you found the video very informative and enjoyable. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing and hitting the notification bell to stay updated on future content. I'm eager to reveal what this season has in store and share the evolution of my lawn with you. If you missed the 2024 scalp video, you can catch up by clicking the link below to see the effort I've put in. All right, folks, take care and happy mowing.